After scoring a hat-trick in the drubbing of Luxembourg in a Group A qualifying game for the 2022 World Cup, Cristiano Ronaldo now has 115 goals in international games, thus putting him well ahead of eternal rival Lionel Messi, who scored 80 goals for the Argentine national side. After scoring in the 3-0 win over Uruguay in a qualification game for Qatar 2022, Messi also became the first South American to score 80 international goals, putting him ahead of icons of the game such as Pele and Ronaldo Nazario. However, there is one particular player that not many people know about who could at least be able to overtake Messi if he continues to score regularly and has at least a couple of years left in the tank in order to at least get past the magical 80-goal mark. That player is Indian international Sunil Chetri, who has spent the majority of his playing career in India, but that hasn't stopped him from scoring 74 goals in 117 games. So today, we're going to talk about the 10 all-time leading goal scorers in international football. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and make sure to go through some of our previous content. Make sure to let us know if there's a particular topic that you want us to cover in one of our upcoming episodes, and we'll definitely do our our best to bring it up. At the age of 37, Sunil Chetri is not showing any signs of slowing down. The veteran forward is the third leading goalscorer in international football among active players right now, and with 75 goals from 120 games, and should definitely be considered one of the greatest South Asian players of all time. It's unfortunate that Chetri has had a nomadic career that's seen him turn out for 14 professional sides. A move to Queen's Park Rangers was all but confirmed, but sadly it didn't happen after the striker was denied a work permit by the British government because India were not in the top 70 of the FIFA World Rankings. Chetri is currently five goals short of outscoring Messi, and if he manages to do that, it would be an achievement to be proud of. Godfrey Chitalu was a Zambian footballer and is often considered as the greatest Zambian player of all time. He was voted his country's Footballer of the Year five times, and it's been claimed that he scored more than 100 goals in all competitions in 1972, more than Gerd Muller's in 1972, and way more than those of Lionel Messi in 2012. However, FIFA was not able to confirm the achievement since it didn't keep a record of domestic competitions in Zambia at that time. Nonetheless, Chitalu shone for the national side, scoring 75 goals in 106 games for them in competitive outings. Shandor Kochis was one of the greatest strikers of all time, scoring goals for fun for the likes of Ferenc Varos, Edos, Honved, young fellows Zurich, and Barcelona. He even made a guest appearance for Valencia in his last year as a professional footballer. Kochis scored 75 goals in only 68 international games for Hungary, and was part of the team that bamboozled the entire planet with their dominating displays. Sadly, Cochise died an untimely death after he fell from the fourth floor of a hospital in Barcelona, where he was being treated for leukemia and stomach cancer. Arguably the greatest player to have ever played the game, Pelé won three World Cups as a player and remains Brazil's all-time leading goalscorer with 77 goals in 92 games. Neymar is slowly catching up to him, but it might not be enough to consider him Pelé's equal. Pelé was quite an otherworldly player who had a penchant for scoring spectacular goals. He averaged a goal per game throughout his career and had the ability to strike with equal effect with either foot. While he was essentially a striker, Pelé also preferred to drop deep and occupy the number 10 role, which he excelled in thanks to his vision and passing ability. 31-year-old Ali Mabkut has so far scored 78 goals in 96 international games for the United Arab Emirates. At club level, he plays for Al Jazeera, for whom he has scored 165 goals in 227 games. Not really a big name in global football, Mabkut is closing in on surpassing at least three players above him on that list, and in order to do so, he has a lot of time on his hands. With over 750 senior career goals for club and country, Messi is one of the greatest players of all time. At Barcelona, the diminutive forward broke one record after another and collected loads of individual honours. When he retires, we're unlikely to see anyone like Messi for several years. 
Things have not always worked out for the 34-year-old every time that he represents Argentina. Messi has only won Olympic gold and Copa America for the Albi Celeste, and in all honesty, he should have won at least more of those and maybe a World Cup winner's medal. Messi has 80 goals in 96 competitive games for the South American Giants and is the country's all-time leading goal scorer. He still has a couple of years left at the top, so you can expect him to at least close in on Ronaldo's record. Can he do that? Universally considered one of the greatest players of all time and the greatest artist you could ever see perform in a football field, Ferenc Puskas continued playing the game he loved until the age of 40 in 1967 and then decided to become a coach. During his career, Puskas scored goals for fun for the likes of Budapest Honved and Real Madrid. Also known as the Galloping Major due to his military rank, Puskas guided Hungary to an Olympic gold at the Helsinki Olympics. The Hungarian national team was a monster in those times, and Puskas says that the mighty Magyars were the blueprint that was used to create the Dutch concoction of total football. He was also part of the first ever team that managed to defeat England at Wembley Stadium in front of more than 100,000 spectators. He could have guided Hungary to their first World Cup triumph in 1954, but they lost the final to Germany 3-2, in which Puskas had a goal ruled offside. It was later proved that German national team players were doped with pervitin, also known as the soldier's drug. So yes, you can consider Puskas unlucky because that Hungarian side should have been world champions at least once. In total, he managed to score 84 goals in 530 games for the national side, and maybe one day we'll see someone like him taking the field for Hungary. The late Mokhtar Dahiri is by far the greatest Malaysian player of all time, scoring 85 goals in 138 games for his country. He was the reason why Malaysia climbed up to 61st in the FIFA rankings in 1977. Since then, the country has never achieved a higher ranking. His greatest moment for the national team came when Supermark came up against England B in 1978, where he dribbled past half of their team managed by Sir Bobby Robson. His performances were so commanding that former Man United player Gordon Hill praised Mokhtar in Shoot magazine in his column following that tour of 1978. Supermark sadly passed away after being diagnosed with motor neuron disease. However, his real cause of death was revealed 19 years after his passing in a documentary on National Geographic, The Untold Truth About Supermark. The Iranian international was the first player to score 100 goals at international level, and his record stood for 17 years. The legendary striker scored 109 goals in 149 games, and it appeared that no player would ever be able to break the record until a certain Cristiano Ronaldo started scoring goals for fun for club and country. Daae also had a very good club career that saw him win the Bundesliga and the DFB Pokal for Bayern Munich. He made his national team debut against Pakistan and was the top scorer in the final Asian round for the 1994 World Cup qualification with four goals in five matches. He ended up representing Iran in the 2006 World Cup despite criticism about his fitness. Earlier this year, Cristiano Ronaldo managed to overtake Ali Daae's record and it seems likely that we'll have to wait another two decades for someone to break the Portugal international's record of 115 goals in 182 games. The Manchester United man has won multiple league, continental and individual honours at club level and is definitely one of the most decorated and greatest players of all time. He also played a crucial role in helping Portugal to its first European Championship a few years ago. Now 37, Ronaldo might not have a lot of time left in his playing career, but we can be sure that before he retires, he will cross the 120 goal mark for the Iberians. And then it'll be left for another goal machine to try and beat the record set by Ronaldo. Can someone do that? Let us know which players you think can break this record in the next 10 or 15 years.